Good morning students. How are you all? I hope you are taking interest in your science lessons. I have already done three chapters with you and now I am doing the revision work. I have already revised chapter 1 and 2. Today we are going to do revision of chapter 3. Human body, the digestive and excretory systems. First let us learn about the digestive system. What is digestion? Digestion is the process by which food is broken down into simple substances which can then be absorbed by the body. So what is digestion? It is a process by which food is broken down into simple substances and that simple substances is absorbed by the body. And the group of organs in the body that carry out digestion form the digestive system. What forms the digestive system? Those organs that carry out digestion. What are they? The mouth, foot pipe, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum and anus. They are the main organs of the digestive system. The salivary glands, liver and pancreas produce juices that helps in digesting the food. Let us learn about the or different organs of the digestive system. The mouth. Digestion of food starts in the mouth. First you eat the food. The tongue mixes the chewed food with saliva. So the saliva is released by the salivary glands. So now the food becomes easier to swallow. And saliva also helps to digest carbohydrates. So some digestion is done in the mouth. What is that? Carbohydrates. Next organ is foot pipe. A tube like organ that carries the swallowed food from the mouth to the stomach. It is also called esophagus. So foot pipe, here the food goes from your mouth to the stomach. No digestion takes place in the foot pipe. What is the other name of food pipe? The esophagus. Then the stomach. It is a bag like organ that produces digestive juices. Here the food is made into thick paste called the chyme by the churning action of the stomach and the action of digestive juices in the swallowed food. Some proteins are digested in the stomach. So what is the stomach? It is a bag like organ. This stomach produces digestive juices and the food is made into a thick paste. What is that? That is a chyme. How is it made? The churning action of the stomach and the action of digestive juices on the swallowed food. Some carb proteins are digested in the stomach. Next is the small intestine. The chyme enters the small intestine from the stomach. Carbohydrates, proteins and fats are digested in the small intestine which is a long coiled tube like organ. What is the size of the small intestine? About 6 meters long it is coiled. The digested food is absorbed into the blood here. Next are the liver and pancreas. The liver secretes bile which help to digest fats. The pancreas also secretes digestive juices which are released into small intestine. So, next is the large intestine. The water in the food is absorbed here, where? In the large intestine. After the water is absorbed, the remaining material that is called feces, it is the waste that is thrown out of the body. After the nutrients are absorbed by the body, whatever remains, whatever cannot be absorbed, that is thrown out as feces. Rectum and anus. Rectum is the last part of the large intestine. The feces are stored here for some time before it is thrown out of the body through the anus. So what is rectum and anus? They are the last part of the large intestine. The feces are stored in the rectum for some time and then it is thrown out of the body through the anus. Now we will learn about importance of chewing food properly. Chewing makes the size of the food pieces smaller so that digestive juices can act on them easily. It also helps food 
to go down the food pipe more easily. So food should be chewed properly so that it can be digested and the nutrients absorbed. So why you should chew your food properly? So that it can be digested and the nutrients can be absorbed. Importance of regular bowel movements. The act of throwing out feces from the body is called bowel movements. What is bowel movement? The act of throwing out feces from the body. The waste should be excreted regularly to remove waste and harmful substances from the body and keep the digestive system healthy. Now let us learn about the excretory system. The excretory system helps the body to get rid of all the waste that is produced in the body. Human excretory system consists of the kidneys, ureters, urinary bladder and the urethra. What are kidneys? They are a pair of bean-shaped organs found in the abdominal cavity. They filter function of kidney, filter waste, harmful substances and excess water from the blood to form pale yellow urine. Ureters, a pair of thin tubes that carry urine to the urinary bladder. Urinary bladder, it is a small bag-like organ that stores urine for some time. And urethra is a thin tube that sends the urine out of the body. So the kidney forms the urine, then the ureters, they carry the urine to the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder stores the urine for some time and then it is thrown out of the body through the Urethra. Other organs of excretion. Skin. It throws out excess salt and waste as sweat. Lungs. They throw out carbon dioxide that is produced during respiration. Liver. Breaks down harmful substances to mostly harmless substances which are sent out in the bile or to the kidneys to be excreted. Some healthy habits for good digestion and excretion. Eat small meals at regular intervals. Do not overeat. Eat slowly. Chew your food well. Always follow a balanced diet. Include roughage in your diet. Drink plenty of water. Wash hands before and after eating anything. So if you follow these healthy habits, it will lead to good digestion and excretion. So students, we come to the end of this chapter. Read it again and again. So much for today. Thank you and have a nice day.